From News Talk, in a poll of 1,000 voters, some 75% of those polled agreed with the statement, I think the number of refugees Ireland is taking in is now too many, while 19% disagreed with that statement. A mere 75% of the population. That's not how it works in a democracy. What you do in a democracy is, you listen to the 19% of raving lunatics, you know, the ones that not a single plumber, bus driver or window cleaner agrees with. You do what they tell you to do. For the 75%, the tolerant liberals have got another good plan. I'd like to see them shot in the head. Councillors hardline on Dublin riots. Very progressive. <laughs> First of all, I'd like to apologise for doing that headline wrong previously. I wouldn't want anybody thinking this fella wasn't a bona fide, red-blooded Irishman. So I'll do it again. I'd like to see them shot in the head. Much better. I'm sure you'll agree. <laughs> Fianna Fail councillor Azad Talukta. See? Bona fide. You ask me to name four or five famous Irishmen, what would I do? James Joyce, Oscar Wilde, Bram Stoker, Bobby Sands, Azad Talukta. <laughs> Obviously, Mr. Talukta was asked to withdraw comments at a council meeting this week after saying that he would like to see those involved in last Thursday's Dublin riots shot in the head. <laughs> the world's gone mad, hasn't it? People like Trump, who were in charge for four years, didn't really do anything controversial. And I mean nothing. Nothing controversial. He introduced an immigration programme that was basically the exact same as the one Barack Obama had. Got the economy squared away and dropped less bombs on people. That's it. Didn't kill anyone. Didn't bury any journalists in the middle of the desert. Didn't send a hit squad round any houses. Didn't organise any free helicopter rides, even for unfunny comedians who pause with his head, his severed head, on the national television and on the front of magazines. Didn't do anything. But he gets called Mussolini for not doing anything even remotely controversial. But when a lefty goes on telly and says, <laughs> people that have normal opinions that 80% of the country agrees with. Shoot me in the head. Okay. If you think that makes sense, okay. Councillor Adam Teskey said that as chairman of the LCC's Joint Policing Committee, he felt it necessary and appropriate to condemn thuggery. Condemn it via an Uzi in the face. <laughs> that's, that's a bit of a harsh condemnation. I, personally, I go for a strongly worded letter. But the modern left opt for kill it in the face. There's Adam Teskey. My God. A thumb with a face on it that looks more like a registered sex offender than anybody else I've ever seen in a tie. The moral of the guard eyes at an all-time low. Yes, because blokes like you are in charge, Sir Nonsalot. Not even an animal does these kind of thing. It's very shameful and they should get public punishment. I'd like to see them take one in the Swede or bring the public in and beat them. <laughs> I couldn't even finish that sentence. Do you remember when Donald Trump said that um, gang members were animals? That's all he said. He just said they're animals. And now here in the States, they made it a three-week headline. Trump calls people animals. By the way, they were on video chopping people's heads off with a chainsaw. They were the people he called animals. And he got condemned for it for three weeks. This bloke said patriotic Irish people that got offended when kids got stabbed in the eye. They were animals. And, well, you've just read it. Beaten to death by a mob. Progressive. Yeah, very tolerant. Labour Party councillor Connor Sheehan called for an immediate withdrawal of the comment and pointed out that you can't call for people to be sh shot in the council chamber. Well, you know what that meant? Connor Sheehan, you're not really Irish. Nah, you don't speak for the Irish people. You've only got an Irish name and 80% of the country agrees with you. But you don't speak for them. Councillor Agadakadaka does. In fact, Connor should have his passport set on fire and be deported to Somalia. He can join a pirate crew and see out his days there. <laughs> Alright, I apologise for talking about this story again, but it's still got legs. Loads of people sent me that story. So yeah, it's still got legs. Certainly more legs than me and my missus would have if we were unfortunate enough to be on a London bus next to one of um, Talukta's mates whose backpack happens to be hissing a bit. Anyway, let me know what you think of that story. Please leave a comment and uh, I will, of course, see you very soon. In fact, I'll do a live stream 7pm tomorrow. Be there or be square. Thanks for tuning in. See you very soon. <laughs>